Hello internet, today we're gonna save you even more money on your soda stream and get you food grade CO2. We're gonna do that with this 60 inch stainless steel soda stream adapter kit that Trinity Paintball is selling. They're down south in Southern California. They had it shipped up here to Northern California for me and uh, it's a nice kit. It's a stainless braided line, nicely, nice parts, nothing, nothing cheaped out on here. It's all metal, no plastic pieces. Um, they also give you a washer that you need. This is very important that goes here. And what this allows you to do is um, this side will go to your soda stream with a quick, it has a quick disconnect on it. Quick disconnect on there. This side has the patented thread to get you into your soda stream. Then it takes that thread and brings it into the stainless braided line and then takes you out to the CGA style adapter, which is gonna go attached to any keg CO2 tank, any any of the main aluminum or steel um, CO2 tanks. And it's gonna save you a ton of money because you can go to air gas and they will exchange the bottle and I have the financials at the end of this video. So all you do is you put that side in your soda stream, make sure that's on. You can attach your disconnect, your quick disconnect and you'll attach the other side to your CO2 tank. Make sure your CO2 tank is off when you attach it. When you turn on your CO2 tank, only use it. You have to turn off the CO2 tank when you're done. So you have to turn on and off every, between uses, as well as you wanna clear the lines. The thing is though, you are now never gonna have to go back to refill your tanks. It, it'll last you years. You can do a five pound, a 10 pound, a 20 pound, a 50 pound tank. All those tanks will work. Just get, it, get them exchanged for the food grade CO2. The reason for this is A, SodaStream charges way too much for their CO2 and you'll see that at the end of the video. Number two is I did try going the route with paintball canisters. The problem with paintball canisters is A, sports authority is no longer in business so I'm having a hard time getting these refilled as well as when you do get them refilled it is not food grade. If that's an issue with you that is a problem and then the second thing is these canisters themselves say you know warning this product contains one or more chemicals that are known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects. So you probably want to get away from this and move on to something like this, where once you have this adapter, you'll see my break even, that after the first year, it's actually cheaper to do this system, based on my consumption, which is, you know, I drink about one every other day, one of these bottles every other day. Um, you're gonna break even after that first year. And you're not gonna have to go to the store and refill. You have your food grade CO2. It's a win-win situation. So it's a cool system. Another thing you could potentially do is, um, you know, I could cut a hole, I could cut a hole right about here and then have it go through the back and then I can actually keep the back on it with the hose coming out so it actually looks like there's nothing going on. So it's a cool system, it's well made. I recommend it, you can see my financials coming up and why it makes sense to do something like this. What you're looking at is the most common cylinder sizes, the bottom one being the standard one that comes with the system. They call it a 60 liter, the soda stream company does, but it's 14.5 ounces. And uh, these are the three most common cylinder sizes. You can see that 20 pound is actually the, the best route to go according to my calculations. This is the cost that I got quoted from air gas. Plus you don't want a huge tank in your kitchen. A 20 pound tank is kind of a good size. So this is the cost to acquire the tank. You can get it even cheaper if you go on Craigslist and you look around, so you can even get the price down. The adapter is $100. The refill from air gas, I converted the pounds to ounces so we can get a per ounce cost. And this is really what you wanna look at, that, that SodaStream is gouging you. They're charging you a dollar and three cents when you take 14.5 ounces divided by $15, you're paying a dollar three per ounce. Where on these other ones, for example, the 20 pound tank, you're gonna get 320 ounces and it's gonna cost you 55, dollars to fill it out the door to exchange it which comes out to 17 cents per ounce so even with paying for this thing for this stuff here and then you have a sell value so that's how I calculated it was the initial startup cost times about 160 ounces a year that's what I think I use is about 160 ounces so 160 ounces times the per ounce charge minus the sell value of the cylinder because at the end of the day I could sell the cylinder so that's not a sunken cost. That's a cost that I can recuperate later. The other thing I'm not incorporating is that the adapter has a sell cost. I could probably sell the adapter, the adapter for $50 as well. Um, and then the other thing that I haven't incorporated in this equation is the trips to the store. I started writing it here. The 10 pounder would be uh, once a year. This would be every two years, this would be every five years. 
and then the soda stream, I have to go 12 times to the store to exchange this thing. So when you incorporate trips to the store, the cell adapter, I think the 20 pounder is the way to go. And as you can see, after the first year, you break even already. You break even. And again, that's not including the cell value. So let's go ahead and incorporate the cell value of the adapter as well, because as long as you don't break the adapter, I'm sure you can sell it on Craigslist or eBay. So let's deduct another $50 from this equation because you'll be able to recoup that cost later. So the actual cost on these three tanks, this one you can't sell the adapter, there's no adapter to sell. And now you're, you break even after about 10 months on, on once you, if you incorporate that. And as you can see, you know, after five years, you're gonna save four times the money after five years going with that 20 pound tank. So you can save a lot of money going this route. To order this part, go to trinitypaintball.com. Just go ahead and search Soda Stream. All one word should get you there. And it's this one on the bottom left. And the CO2 external tank, stainless steel hose system for Soda Stream beverage machine. This is the one that'll do it for you. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you could like and subscribe, I would appreciate it. If you have any questions, please comment below.